Cody, uh, this is Tim. Um, instead of pictures, I figure I'd take you through kind of a, a walk around of the car. Um, I'll do this as quickly as possible. Um, <clears throat> I'll tell you everything I can think of that's wrong with it that I've discovered, um, things that I have actually fixed on it, and hopefully the lighting in here is halfway decent. I might have to come out here when the sun's gone down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> this is the interior. Uh, it's velour. Um, there are cigarette burns in the seat on the driver's side. Um, I don't think there's any holes or cracks. Uh, <clears throat> the steering column, the cover I have taken off because I replaced the ignition. Uh, the blinker and the blower motor for the AC were not working. Um, but I left that off, but all the parts are here for that. <clears throat> the, uh, the actual cover. There's a cover, and the uh, both the side pieces are up here on the dash. Uh, the dash, of course, is cracked here. Uh, the uh, speaker covers, I mean, the dash pad's kind of a mess. Um, sometime this summer, the rear view mirror dropped off down here. Uh, <clears throat> the carpet is in uh, good shape, best I can tell. Uh, the glove box, let's see. It is kind of curving out a little bit, um, but it opens and closes, no problem. Uh, door panels. Again, I'm sorry about the lighting here, man. But, uh, this one's not the greatest, but of course it's taken the uh, the most wear and tear. Um, <clears throat> give you a look back here, the back part. I mean, this is uh, might be a little sun faded, uh, but not bad. Uh, the back seat's really nice. The velour back here is just, it's beautiful. Um, it's in really good shape. Um, uh, the back around the speakers, um, it's in good shape. Let's see here. Uh, the headliner. Let's see if anything's changed since the last time I've checked it out. Um, I'm not detecting any sagging whatsoever or tears or anything in the headliner in here. Um, Looks good from here. Here's the other door panel right there. Here's the passenger side door panel. Let's check out the front seat again from the inside. Um, so, I mean, in general, this thing is in good shape besides, you know, the mechanical issues. Like I said, there's an exhaust leak in the Y pipe. It's pretty loud. It, it doesn't look like it was rusted out. It looks like there's some kind of impact underneath it um, that punched a hole. Uh, <clears throat> here's the deck lid. Let's see. <clears throat> the, uh, the ding I was telling you about. Hopefully the camera adjusted. It's right here behind the back door. Right here. Um, in this per so I don't know if that would be hard to pull, um, or what a body shop could do with that. Um, this door isn't perfect. Um, I mean, it's not damage running my hand over it. I'm, I'm not detecting any issues with uh, any damage here. Just right here in this uh, trim piece, it's punched in just a little bit. So I don't know how hard it would be to get behind there. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, under the hood, I'll show you under the hood. Uh, the upper intake manifold is off and we pulled out the uh, the harness for the, uh, the fuel injector. Um, the fuel injectors so the one that goes to the uh the black connector and the white connector to the fuel injectors and to um several uh sensors under here uh, it was just it was bad um we did do a fuel pe uh, pressure test to check the uh, the fuel pump and it, it read right where it should have been it was i, I think 42 maybe 43 uh, or so but generally under the hood it looks reasonably good. Um, I really wish I can get, I, I can try to get a good shot of the undercarriage, but it looks fantastic. Um, again, um, the odometer says 50 something. It could be 150. Uh, here's the, uh, the vinyl on top. It, it's in good shape. Um, last, last time I really checked it, I didn't see any holes. Um, it's starting to, I think in one or two spots along here, it is, untucking maybe but now that i say that i'm not not even seeing that 
Um, I mean, it's still, I mean, there's a tiny little ding at the end of my finger. I'm doing the best I can out here in the sunlight. I can have, a, I have a hard time seeing the screen. Um, <clears throat> this little in-between piece by the, uh, the coach lamps, I mean, it, it's still really soft. Um, I'll walk, walk you around to see the other side. So this, this top is in, see, that's, that's where it's untucking just a little teeny bit. Um, but around to this side, I mean, the, the top is, is really, really nice. Um, you know, I have to go back in your group and look at the, what I did to the deck lid. You know, I did the wax and the, uh, uh, I forget what they call it, the, uh, the liquid sealant or whatever um, back here. And it, this thing hasn't had a bath in a while, but I think this paint has a pretty good bit of life back in it. I don't think it's going to get back looking brand spanking new, but I, best I can tell, I'm not seeing any uh, like clear coat failure. Uh, I'll show you the trunk. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> see if I can open it. Uh, it's missing the the cover. All right, come on. All right, so this is the inside of the trunk. Um, carpet's in good shape. Of course, there's the uh, the parts I was talking about, the uh, upper intake. Um, the, all the, the nuts and bolts for that are also in the trunk. Has a spare, let's see here. Probably a little suspect. It, it, there's probably some age on it. Uh, is it a white wall? Yeah, but I, I don't know how old that is. I didn't pull that out to check it out. Um, but the uh, pull down motor, Here's the upper part of the carpet here. Looks pretty good. Um, pull down motor. Down it goes. Uh, the power antenna works just fine. I'll try to get you a shot of underneath the car, but I'm not very optimistic about what it's gonna look like. All right, let's see. You probably can't see too much, but um, I posted pictures in the group of this car before of the undercarriage. You could probably check out a little bit better. Um, I mean, there's there's still some paint on the frame rails. Uh, my brother told me he saw original like grease pencil marks from when the car was manufactured. So, you know, 100 or 150 thousand miles. The uh, the underside of this car is very clean, and I haven't noticed much in the way of uh, rust on this thing. Probably especially compared to. You know, the cars you typically come across. Um, let me pull, pull out the forward board and let you check out the hood. Oh, the, um, I don't have a code, uh, but the keyless entry does work. It pops the trunk, it locks and unlocks the doors. Um, all right, bear with me, I'm gonna pull this board out. There's the, uh, the hood, you know, it's hard. I know it's hard to tell, um, in this kind of light, it, it does need a bath. Here's the, uh, the front end. It is an 88 town car. It has the, uh, the 88 grill on it. Um, you know, the, uh, I don't know if this is up to your standards, but these look, um, covers look okay. Um, the, I just remembered we really hadn't dri driven this thing uh, besides when we brought it home. Uh, the speedometer cable squealed on it. I, I do remember that. Um, when I had it running in the driveway after I replaced the uh, uh, the ignition, uh, the ignition, <clears throat> the AC was blowing cold. It was a really hot day, and this thing was really comfortable in here. Um, <clears throat> oh, again, three out of four of the windows, best I can recall, uh, do not work. So that this, this thing needs a little bit of work, but and I could have gotten some cash out of it by scrapping it or selling it locally, but I know if you get this thing home, you'll take good care of it. And, you know, I'd rather that happen than an otherwise really nice-looking 30-year-old car just uh, get scrapped. But... Man, if you need any more follow-up questions, let me know. Um, this door 
Let's see. <clears throat> there we go. That one needed a little bit of help. Um, the title is uh, good, free and clear. No issues, just if you got, get somebody down here, um, it's yours, man. All right.